my boyfriend at the time he would drive us to school and because I was up late the night before I remember falling asleep in the car someone caught him off and he lost control and he hit the railing and then went spinning and hit a light post on the other side she was in the back seat without a seat belt the boyfriend called me he told me Karina was unconscious and she's not waking up they're taking her to New York Presbyterian Queens Everyone knew from the start that it was she was a critical patient and all hands were on deck to try to take care of her as best as possible. She came in basically in a coma, not breathing on her own. She wasn't doing anything. And so we had to secure her airway. We had to get a CAT scan of her head and everything else to figure out where the injuries were. The neurosurgery team was consulted right away. And when we arrived in the emergency room, we first placed intracranial pressure monitor to make sure the intracranial pressure is monitored and managed. Uh, that turned out to be not enough. And eventually we needed to do something called hemicraniectomy to release the pressure in her brain. We just, we didn't know what was gonna happen. The day-to-day -day management and caring for these patients, um, it's difficult, but I still think that probably the most difficult issue that we deal with is the families. Trying to put them at ease, keeping them informed of what's going on frequently and oftenly to try to alleviate and answer their questions as much as we can. It was a slow, slow process, but she was in ICU for about a month in very critical, critical condition. So while she was, you know, unconscious, we were always there talking to her and, you know, telling her that she has to fight and, and keep going. Just the fact that my daughter opened her eyes to me was everything. I woke up in the hospital and like I saw my parents and I was like, what happened and why I'm in the hospital? I don't remember anything from the day of the accident until a month after. I only remember going to rehab. She had a, essentially a full recovery from, from a, a coma, which is not something that happens very often. I put her life in God's hands in the hands of those doctors and Together they performed a miracle. I mean, she was here for months, and, and everybody that I know in this hospital contributed in one way or another. The care to us and to the rest of my family was outstanding. Like, I'll never forget, I'll never forget that. And I'm always grateful for that. Like, knowing the work they did on me, it makes me want to just do really well in my future career and being a physician assistant. I just want to help other people how they help me because they help me a lot and I'm just forever grateful for that.